daycare has become so costly, many families can't even afford it, especially in North Carolina. BNC's Janine Donaldson is in Charlotte to explain how daycare is costing families more than college tuition. The Center for American Progress says daycare is unaffordable for many families. In North Carolina, for example, families with infants can expect to pay 25% of their income in child care costs. And for toddlers, that number can go as high as 33%. The cost of child care is a huge, huge burden for families. Uh, it's just wildly unaffordable. As parents prepare to head back to work, many are going to face a hard choice, paying the high cost for daycare or staying home. The average cost for full-time center-based care per child in 2020 was around $11,000 for infants and toddlers. But this ranges, this has a, a huge range across the United States. For example, where I live in the District of Columbia, uh, the average cost for the same type of care is between $23,000 and $24,000 uh, per year per child. Child care can cost more than college tuition. In fact, yearly in-state tuition for UNC Charlotte is just over $7,000, and UNC Chapel Hill and NC State cost around $9,000, a reality hitting low-income families the hardest. Black families, Hispanic families, other families of color, um, we know that there is widespread inequities. In fact, 69% of Black and 72% uh, of Hispanic working parents are likely to experience unaffordability with child care compared to just 60% of white working parents. More than 100,000 children are enrolled in North Carolina child care subsidy programs, but the demand outweighs slots available. In December of 2020, more than 17,000 children were registered on the waiting list. Only one in seven, or about 14% of eligible families actually have access to those subsidies, meaning 86% of eligible families in the U.S. are left out. However, subsidized child care still comes with a cost. And providers do have the option across many states to charge families above what the subsidy value that they have are, and even beyond the co-payments that they have for that subsidized care. So even though families are receiving assistance for that subsidized care, they still have out-of-pocket out of costs. So where does that leave many black and brown families that can't afford to stay home from work? Some choose to leave their children with friends, family, and sometimes home alone. We have especially seen that in terms of black women in, uh, who are working and forcing to make the decision of going to work and providing for their families or leaving their child in unsafe environments and ending up being criminalized for making that, that difficult decision. Get this, a parent making minimum wage in North Carolina would have to work full time for more than a year to afford to send their infant to child care. It's why experts are calling on lawmakers to pass President Biden's Build Back Better plan that includes funding and caps for child care costs. In Charlotte, I'm Janine Donaldson for BNC.